Hi and welcome to apress.com. At apress.com, we help authors to become super authors. For example, our world-renowned author, Mr. Muhammad Iqbal Harb, has a blog created by apress.com. This is one of those tutorials where you can learn how to access the blog post created for apress.com. Let's go and check how we can access the admin area where you can lead yourself to the dashboard by logging into the system. To do that, you would first want to visit your website, which is in our case, www.pendon.com. After that, you would just use a forward slash and type in WP hyphen ADMIN forward slash and enter. As soon as you do that, you'll be taken to a form wherein you'll be asked to fill in your user and your password. So every author with a press will be given a user and a password to log into their blogs. Let's go ahead and put our credentials and log in. That's it. We're now looking at your dashboard. Look at the elements of the dashboard. You've got a dashboard. We have posts, media, pages, and comments. Everything else is something which APRES support engineers would help you develop. But these are the four main aspects of your dashboard, which, which will help you to create new posts, which will help you to add libraries and new media and video if you have any. It'll help you to create pages and, and help you to handle the comments. Let's go and check what are these elements. So we're back and we have all these menu items on the uh, blog and we have under the blog two posts the worth of a poet and the truth these are two posts the news and events is a menu item and if i click on recently published this is a page and if i click on birth of a poet this is a post Okay, so since I am in the website as a super admin, I get to edit this post. Here you go. Edit post, you can see here, this is the post. There are many other ways to get into edit. Let's go back to dashboard. When you hover on posts, you can go to all posts, add new categories and tags. When you hover on media, you can add new elements to the library. When you hover on pages, you can go to all the pages. Let's check all the pages. I clicked on all pages. And right now we have so many pages created for Mr. Herb on his blog. So if I want to change some aspects of, let's say, for example, we have a page here called Meet Mr. Herb. So if you click on Meet Mr. Herb, we came to the page which contains Meet Mr. Herb. If I want to add something more, I would go to and find Meet Herb. Okay. So this is where, let's recheck, let's recheck. This is Meet Herb. Okay. So this is the page which shows M-E-E-T hyphen H-A-R-B. So we will go and click on edit so in this page we can create add more information for example hey we are excited to know that you are interested in meeting mr herb
right? If this is the one which we want to write, check out on the right hand side, there's an update tab. Just click update and your information is updated. Let's go and check out and refresh this page. Let's see what happens. There you go. The text is all visible now. And the changes that we made is already updated. But similarly, let's go to all posts. So we have some many posts that has not been updated. But there are certain posts like the birth of a poet, truth, right? Let's go and check out birth of a poet. By the way, birth of a poet is a very famous poem by Mr. Iqbal Harb, one of the most beautiful poems. So if I want to add something else like three dots to it, and then we update it, that's as simple as it is. However, there are certain elements of this text editor that you can use. For example, this is a bold. This is how you can make something bold. And if you want to make something italicized, right? A poem would look well with an italicized font structure. So there you go. This is what you use. If you want to add a bullet, you can use this. If you want to add a numbered bullet, you can use it quotes, alignment of the text and link and something like a read more tag, right? So if you want to add a read more tag here, maybe we should add that read more tag here, right? So then we have strike out and many, many other elements. If you want to change the color of the text into something more poetic, I don't know what color poetic is for me, let's say a poetic color would be orange. So, of course, it's not visible under the white. Okay. Uh, blue. Yeah, this works. All right. So, these are the things that you can do if you can just play around with it. And uh, definitely, you can play around with it because you cannot break the system. And if you do break the system, you're always there to fix it back. So go ahead, be creative and uh, play around with it and uh, write to us at uh, hello at apress.com if you have any doubts and we'll always be there to help you. All right. I hope you enjoy creating and playing around with your blog and hope your fans and viewers are most happy about your work. Thank you so much. Visit apress.com to become a member and get published today.